Well, from Broadway to Los Angeles, the smash hit Peter Pan Goes Wrong is about to open at the Amundsen Theater. One review described the comedy this way, knocked unconscious with laughter. It doesn't get much funnier than that. Joining me now are two of the stars of Peter Pan Goes Wrong. We're talking about Henry Shields, who is also one of the playwrights, and Charlie Russell. I want to welcome you both. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. I mean, that is a compliment. Knocked yeah. unconscious with laughter. <laughs> yeah, very that, nice. That sounds very funny. So we've all heard the story, of course, of Peter Pan, but tell us about Peter Pan Goes Wrong. What is this about? Well, it, it kind of does what it says on the tin. Uh, it's a production of Peter Pan, Peter Pan being put on by an amateur theatre company, okay. uh, and everything that can go wrong does. So the actors don't know their lines properly, they haven't learned the blocking right, and I mean, if you know Peter Pan at all, you know that there's a lot of physical things that go on. There's yes. flying, there's hooks and sword fights and things like that, yeah. um, and they all go disastrously wrong. It's crazy, wild, silly slapstick. Oh, wow. And, and what drew you to this? Well, we made it back in uh, 2013 together as a group, uh -huh. um, and I, Peter Pan is one of my favourite stories of all time oh. as a child. Uh -huh. So I had this dream to play Wendy one day, and I sort of am, but mm -hmm. in the strangest way, like the Wendy that's slightly inappropriate and gets it all wrong. Mm. Um, but it's nice to take something that we all know so well, yes. but then turn it on its head and subvert it. But I think we've worked very hard to try and make sure there's still a little bit of the Peter Pan magic in the show. Yes, but, but when you're a good actor, it has to be hard to play a bad actor, right? Yes, it is. It's a difficult job. It, I like to think we make it look easy, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. it is really difficult. But we've been doing it for about 10 years now. We started with a show called The Play That Goes Wrong, yes. which was on Broadway for a long time and toured the US. And this is the sequel to that show. So we've been doing it forever and ever and ever. And, and we've gotten really pretty good at it, I like to think, yes. at least. Yeah, <laughs> I like to think so. Uh, but yeah, it requires a lot of technical skill and a lot of precision to get to get it to go wrong in just exactly the right way. Yeah. yeah, but I would imagine if there were some mishaps, they almost just flow right into the, the, the bad play. They can do. Sometimes we can <laughs> use them and play with them, but yes. other times it's almost like two wrongs don't make a right oh. because you get this, yeah. um, if it's gone wrong, that means the joke didn't happen. The thing that mm. was meant to fall didn't fall at the right time. We tend to look at the thing and then nothing's happened. And so in a way, it going wrong might mean that there's no joke. Ooh. So we, we hopefully Sometimes. it's uh, <laughs> we've ma we've managed to perfect it over time now yeah. to make sure that it goes wrong in the right way. Yes, and I mean to hear the the reviews that you're getting, you must feel really good. I mean, being a part of what's really behind this all. Yeah, it does feel good. It's very nice, and I hope people over on this coast like it as much as they have over uh, on the East Coast. It was really, really lovely in New York. People uh, received it really well, and, you know, we just we like to make people laugh. The audience seems the audience seem to laugh a lot. Yeah, and American audiences are brilliant. They're so sort of vocal and enthusiastic, mm. you know, from all over the country that have come to see it in New York, and now it's really great to bring it to the West Coast, and we're basically giving you guys permission to come and laugh at us making fools of ourselves, <laughs> yeah. and we're perfectly happy for you to do that. Yes, because the British humour is a little different. It is. Well, what's good about this show is that it's, it's very universal in its humour. It's a lot of physical gags. It's a lot of stuff that works in any culture, in any language. People get this uh, kind of comedy. So it does pro has proven itself to be really universal. And American audiences have really enjoyed it uh, as much, if not more, than British audiences. Mm -hmm. I think we've found that Americans are quite wild. Yeah. Quite wild houses. <laughs> out, well. out, out east, certainly. I don't know what it would be like here. Oh, I'm Probably sure. more so. I yeah. hope so. I'm excited. I hope so. We I like a good wait. laugh. We yeah. definitely <laughs> like a good laugh. Thank you both for coming. We certainly appreciate it. Again, Peter Pan Goes Wrong opens next week at the Amundsen. You can find more information about the show and how to get tickets by going to our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV.